hey guys you're yeah, welcome to my channel my name is oluchi and in today's video i'm going to be putting you through on the a to z on how to insert your goods from alibaba and then ship them over to nigeria and initially i made the video on how you can um buy from alibaba but i didn't really like like lay the foundation so in this video i want to like lay the foundation and then highlight a few themes you have to familiarize yourself with before you before you even um, download the app you have to know the stems so that they will enable you um source your goods from alibaba and then ship them over to nigeria and then when you're when you're done with this video you can go check my previous video which will be here and the link will be down below so you can um, watch that video so you get the full understanding on how to buy from alibaba so before i start what is alibaba alibaba is basically is an e-commerce website where um, you get to buy all kinds of goods over there in china and then people confuse alibaba and aliexpress alibaba and aliexpress is basically owned by um the same person jack ma but then the difference is that most times when you're buying in high um in high quantity it's better to buy from alibaba and then when you're buying in low quantity it's better to buy from aliexpress and like in aliexpress you can get um one item unlike in alibaba it's really like difficult for you to get one part one particular item like one piece of item from alibaba so if you're buying in large quantity buy from alibaba if you're buying in low quantity buy from um aliexpress aliexpress basically they are the same thing owned by the same person so the first thing i'm going to be talking about is um, manufacturers and vendors you have to know the difference between manufacturers and vendors basically um manufacturers are those who manufacture the goods themselves and then vendors are those who like buy from manufacturers and resell so from from vendors basically you can get like varieties of products maybe you can get this chain you can get so many things like they have like so many items where they showcase to you whereas um manufacturers they can have like few pieces but then how you can differentiate a vendor from a manufacturer is that um, manufacturers prices are usually less unlike that of the vendor because the vendor has to buy from the manufacturer and then um, the moq of the manufacturer is usually higher than the moq of the um vendor sometimes it can be vice versa it just depends but basically i usually suggest you buy from the manufacturer especially if you're buying in large quantity they can customize pieces for you they can um you can easily negotiate prices with them i think their prices are, are fair compared to those um compared to the vendors yeah also i want to talk about the time difference the time difference between us here in nigeria and then over there in in china is quite different here in nigeria um when it's 6 um, a.m here it's 1 p.m over there so you just like like figure out the perfect time for you to chat your vendors when they are awake so sometimes you have to like um be awake at night um for them to reply to you quickly so, um if you chat them usually during daytime i think um ask for them to reply to you and probably you send this pop-up like um them this vendor is probably asleep so usually you have to be awake most times at night so you can reach out to them and they respond to you easily so basically um when you um, are buying from alibaba you have to consider the shipping and how you're going to ship your goods from over there to over here in nigeria so basically there are um there are different local shipping and companies that have warehouses over there in china so that's how it works most um shipping companies have warehouses over there in china and then when you buy from china your vendors ship to those um warehouse and then from um their warehouse they now deliver your goods to nigeria so that's basically how it works so usually your vendors can have like um shipping companies mostly they use fedex they use dhl but then it's up to you to tell them you have a local shipper because shipping um with local shipper is usually more affordable than using fedex or dhl and the rest and then basically in shipping there is um, freight, there is sea. It's advisable to use freight when you're shipping um, low quantity. And then it's best to use sea when you're shipping large items like deep freezer, generator, and all of the rest. So, and then, mind you, um, when you're using, um, when you're shipping in light items like jewelry, my jewelry, I use freight because they are light items and they won't um, consume much space so 
yeah it's better to use fried than sea cargo when you're shipping um light items and then when you're shipping heavy items like i said fridge refrigerators if it's the same thing um generators it's best to use the sea cargo shipping and then the billing address so billing address is the address um on your atm card it's like billing where the money is coming from so and then in terms of um payment of your vendors or anything the cards that are used can be used for payment you can use your visa card and your mastercard you can't use verb you can only use visa and mastercard and then on that card when you're filling your atm the address you used in filling your atm is the address you're going to use for the billing address so if you're using a friend's card if you don't have visa card you tell your friend to um, send you the address the friend used in filling the um, atm card and it's and usually it's your permanent address so most times usually your permanent permanent address you fill in when you're filling it's just like filling your details usually your permanent address so in case you relocate all of the stuff so the next thing we're going to be talking about is moq i forgot to talk about moq moq uh, means minimum other quantity and then what moq means is like the minimum quantity that vendor is willing to sell let's say in alibaba something like this pop out and then their moq is like um 10 it means that the minimum they can sell for you is 10 pieces like 10 pieces of that item they can't sell nine they can't sell eight the minimum they can sell is from 10 and above that's the minimum that vendor or that manufacturer um can sell to you from that um 10 and above some of them can be 100 some of them can be 50 some two some five and then the rest so let's talk about conversion um over there in china it's usually if you're here from nigeria it's usually in dollars so you have to like convert the money um when you're paying over there you convert it to dollars let's say an item is two dollars and you want to get 100 pieces so what you do you say um two dollars times 100 times the equivalent of dollar and then i've noticed that um i think china is a very is a big country and then some vendors the equivalent differs from some so sometimes it's best to ask the vendor like how much is naira equivalent over there and i tell you sometimes it's um, um 451 sometimes it varies so ask the vendor and then whatever it is you say two times hundred two hundred times the dollar equivalent um for that vendor and then you get the naira price so that's how to check it so also someone asked me this question um on whatsapp and then this is basically like okay let's say an item is sold for 0 0.6 um six dollars each item is sold for 0 0.6 dollars and then the minimum that um vendor can sell for you is ten thousand pieces okay let's say from ten thousand to um nineteen thousand nine hundred and ninety nine is sold for um zero point sixty one um 61 dollars so that means that you can't get less than ten thousand pieces that person is probably a manufacturer and then the manufacturer they produce a large quantity and the least they can give you is ten thousand pieces and for each one is zero point um sixty one dollars so how you check it let me say if you want to get ten thousand you say zero point sixty one times ten thousand then times the dollar equivalent i hope you get so the next thing we're going to be talking about is um transaction fee so when you're um, buying from alibaba always um know that there is always a transaction fee that you're going to pay so you have to like leave um some amount of money in your account because sometimes when you're trying to pay and then it's declined maybe there's not enough money um in your bank account so usually there's this transaction um, charge they usually take when you're paying on alibaba should i order samples someone can ask should i order samples usually advice like if you want to start up um if you want to buy in large quantity i usually advise you buy sample let me say if i want to buy this drink like 100 pieces 100 of this drink but i get one sample 
and then you test the quality for some period of time before you order 100 but let's say if you're getting like six pieces you just better to get it like the money you are losing is not that much and then if you get if you get like six pieces and it's quality you know that okay i can buy from this vendor so usually getting samples is usually best for people who are buying in it's best for people who are buying in large quantity for me i didn't really get samples i just like i tightened my heart and i got the pieces and i noticed that the two i got from two different vendors i noticed that from one vendor the quality of one vendor was more than the quality of the other vendor so i'm sticking with that vendor and i'm never going back there so that's how it's, it works and then you always have to check if the vendors are verified you also have to check um if they are verified you also have to check reviews very important and then in case you feel you're so busy some people are so busy they are working and they don't have time to do all these things you can use a procurement agent and then they charge you for their fee and then you pay them so in case you feel you're so busy and you can't do that you can't do everything yourself but then if you have the time still find out time to do these things yourself and yeah you're good to go but if you're so busy you can use a procurement agent to help you in, in the payment and then in the shipping and then you get your items and also if you're starting i recommend i think there are groups um whatsapp group, facebook groups where you see other um other small um small sellers like yourself so people can buy and then ship in bulk and it's usually best when you're shipping it's best to ship all your items in bulk than buy one ship one buy one ship one so if, if you want to know anything about shipping i made a video on that this video the link will be down below so go check that video out i hope i'm not forgetting anything and yeah one last thing tracking number so whenever you're buying from alibaba they say they give you the tracking number which you can track your goods and then you can use tracker there's an app called tracker which you can use to track your goods to know if they've reached the warehouse if your goods have arrived in nigeria so always ask them for the tracking number and then also when your vendors say they want to draft an order for you that they want to calculate everything you bought and then the total price and that's um, where you're going to click and then you're going to pay this is how it looks like so thank you very much for watching this video and in case you watch to the end i saw dry pieces affordable dry pieces non tannish dry pieces and for watching to the end of this video you're getting 20 percent off and then the link will be down below so just chat me up on instagram and tell me you're from youtube and then you get to shop all pieces for 20 percent off please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so other people can see my videos do have an amazing day lots of love bye